the famous carpet Hillsborough now under its one million pounds roof that was recently opened by Her Majesty the Queen and that must be an eye-opening sight for this small band of traveling Chester City supporters Chester start with the same 11 that held Wednesday to the 1-1 draw on Saturday and which was unlucky not to win Sheffield Wednesday have lost Nigel Worthington injured in training so Glyn Snowden is in at number three and it's a big night for Martin Hodge their captain his 28th birthday and his 190th consecutive appearance for Wednesday which is a new club record knocked on by Houghton oh well he was in quickly there was the Chester City number 11 Milton Graham he might have been injured and that will certainly be a blow for Chester if he is because they're basing a lot of their tactics tonight on the ability of that young man meanwhile here come Wednesday Maxon's there in support Knight we took a clatter as well oh. well he stayed down as Ian Knight and he's signalling that he wants instant attention and the referee Dave Allison is allowing play to go on but I think Ian Knight has a problem Meanwhile, here come Chester City. There was a fearsome crack on that tackle with Knight. This is Barrow, and now it's finally gone back to Hodge. And the Sheffield Wednesday players are furious with Gary Bennett, who is booked now by the referee, Dave Allinson, who allowed play to go on after that tackle, which has left Knight prostrate on the floor, and that looks like a serious injury. And after a delay of five and a half minutes, the sad sight of 20-year-old Ian Knight carried off on a stretcher with what we have already been told is a broken leg. Former Wigan player, Billy Stewart, where he was under the management of Harry McNally, who's now his manager at Chester. Forward by Kelly, and Graham was offside. Wood, pursued by Woodthorpe, and dispossessed by the 17 year old youngster, who's been attracting the attention of a lot of big clubs. Oh. Chapman! It's 1 0! Lee Chapman, who got the equaliser that kept Wednesday in this fourth round tie on Saturday, has put Sheffield Wednesday 1 up. 14 minutes gone, Chapman's 15th goal of the season. And he got inside the defender there. Graham Abel was able to turn and pick a spot just wide of Stewart's dive. Graham. And that was depenalised. Siggy Johnson, the Icelandic player. Well, they've pushed five players forward just outside the Wednesday penalty area. Spazakali takes this free kick. Woodthorpe. Now Howard at right back. This is Chester's first real break. Still kept his feet. He wants to give it to somebody, the fullback. Graham. Now he can play a bit. Oh, and that might fall for Bennett. It's in. Chester have equalized. Chester's traveling supporters have something to shout about. An equaliser in the 26th minute by Gary Bennett, his 16th goal of the season, Chester's top scorer, who profited there from a fortunate rebound. The shot by Milton Graham was deflected by a defender. It did look as if someone was in an offside position. It wasn't given, 
and Bennett put it wide of Hodge and it's 1-1 as it was on Saturday. Shelton. Snowden. Johnson. second goal of the season but he's put it in his own net and Wednesday are back in front 2-1 taking plenty of time clicked on that was Chapman who got the second touch Lee Chapman who opened the scoring in this match after 14 minutes little flick header across the face of goal Barrow Kelly, Howard, that's a free kick, there's Bennett, ten is Peter Houghton to the left, and uh, Chester's forwards uh, outnumbered by defenders, but uh, not by many. Oh, Bennett! Well, he was nearly in for number two, Gary Bennett. Hodge saved it, but I don't think the Wednesday keeper knew too much about it. Oh, now, can Wednesday break quickly? Siggy Johnson. Marwood. And Johnson tried to run around for Zachary. his 10th corner placed by Snowden Chapman back by Smith Woodthorpe oh, we can try again and that's out of play by Peter Houghton Marwood Mexon into Bradshaw <laughs> 60 minutes gone and Carl Bradshaw settles the nerves and surely now settles this replay Howard a satisfactory result but obviously spoilt for you by the injury tonight yes very much uh, milk without the cream, really. Uh, the boy's got a very bad injury, a uh, double fracture, fib and tib, and compound, insofar as the bone has come out of the skin at the back of his leg. So, uh, very difficult because you sit there watching the game totally emotionless. You know, the, the, the game seems to be going on, but uh, it just takes everything out of it. How long is it likely to be before he's able to play again? Oh, who knows? Who knows? Certainly, uh, you can say Tata to this season. How did you see the actual title that led to the injury? I have my opinion as to what happened. I haven't seen a rerun of it. Really, only the boy knows. And, and if he honestly can say 
it was an honest tattle. 